Colorado's ballot initiative process is a way for the people to make choices, no matter what the wealthy, powerful interests want. Nowadays, we usually get to vote on whatever the wealthy, powerful interests want to put on our ballots. Our Cole Sullivan explains how the process is getting harder for grassroots campaigns. Proposed Initiative 63 didn't ask for much. It would send one third of 1% of income tax already collected to the state's education fund. For the purpose of re attracting, recruiting, retaining, and paying teachers and student support services. Money for teachers and a ballot initiative education advocates say voters liked. It had support. Um, that was stronger than any other polling that we've seen in decades. But this week, Initiative 63 failed. Even with 600 volunteers on street corners across the state, the project did not collect enough signatures to make the ballot. The voters want this, but there are barriers in the way of them getting to exercise their values. The barrier, 124,632. That's the required number of signatures, 5% of the total number of votes in the 2018 Secretary of State's race. A number of signatures, that's a lot easier to achieve if you pay the people collecting them. It definitely puts a bias towards things getting on the ballot that have money behind them. Um, and. You know, I, I, there's already a lot of that in our politics. Paul Teske is the dean of the public affairs school at CU Denver. He says it's harder for grassroots groups to get on the ballot these days. Because there are more voters in Colorado, the number of signatures required has gone up, meaning the groups that can pay have an advantage. You know, they can get it on the ballot be, because of that. And, you know, it may or may not be a good idea, but they have the money to, to bring it forward. Money the education advocates just didn't have. It has just come to a place where you can't get on the ballot unless you have significant resources, a lot of funding. Every one of the initiatives that could still make the ballot this year had paid companies collecting signatures. For their part, the education advocates say they haven't given up. They'll lobby lawmakers to do something or they'll try again next election year. So Cole, I've, I've got an idea. I want to put it on the ballot straight straight up. How much cash do I need? Strategists say about $2 million. And that's because you don't just need the 125,000 uh, signatures, you need a lot more, about 220,000, assuming some of those will get whittled down in the verification process. And there's just no way to do it with volunteers. you got to pay people to get that many signatures and get them good. All right. Cole Sullivan, hey, welcome to Next for the first time. Thank you.